Hi guys, my name is Salome de Villiers. I am a co-owner of Marvel Africa Safaris. I'm also a professional hunter and your host when you book a hunt with us at Marvel Africa Safaris South Africa. I'm Marcel de Villiers, hunting outfitter of Marvel Africa Safaris. Salome just introduced herself. For most of the guys here that know me, they um, would be surprised that I'm in front of a camera. I'm quite a bit camera shy most of the times. So we're trying to make this video series for you guys to give you guys a bit of an insight as to what to expect when coming to Africa. Who are we? What do we offer? Yes, we are a South Africa based hunting operation. We are a family run operation. It's me, Salumi and the boss, MJ. We are a team. We try to do it together. Our company is also family friendly. We love groups with wives, kids joining us. We had an amazing group this year, a family group, and we just love hunting and enjoying Africa with families. Women who doesn't hunt, we've got plans for them. Kids who don't want to go out hunting, who just want to drive around, take photos, we've got plans for them. The short and sweet about this video, it's an introduction video, to give you guys a context of what we try to aim with this video series, and we hope we're going to make a couple of more videos to answer all the, ver the varying facets of what's involved in planning a trip. So where to start? A lot of people have a question or don't have an idea where to start with Africa. First of the biggest things most people ask is cost. Is it expensive to hunt Africa? Honestly, from what we've learned and experienced from clients and discussions and talk with different clients, most guys say Africa gives you so much more opportunities for the same amount of money you would have spent somewhere else. Now obviously Africa is not the same hunt as and for say in Alaska or Canada, it's a different hunt, it's a different place. You can come to South Africa, you can book a hunt, you spend seven hunting days in the bush, you'd most likely see 15 to 20 different Plains game species, you'd have a fully catered lodge, facilities and everything, you'd be on a hunting holiday. We'd be there to assist you, we'd guide you through the process, we make life fun, we make the experience fun, and we make sure you enjoy yourself. So when comparing cost with South Africa, we're not talking about you going to a camp where you'll be self-catering, looking after yourself, driving your own vehicle, um, needing to worry about a lot of this stuff when you book a cabin up in the mountains. I think Africa is not as expensive as a lot of people might think. A lot of people think it's only for the rich and wealthy. To be honest with you, most of our clients are middle class hunters. Guys with not with the big jobs or guys with the big bucks. It's just the average guys coming to Africa. If you look at it, a hunt in Africa, you could get four to five different species for the same type of money you would have spent up in Alaska or Canada to hunt a bear or moose or something bigger um, on a single animal. Africa kind of offers you a bit of a world of experience in a buffet style hunting option as well. A lot of people think it's similar to the type of packages you would buy from a guided operator where you buy a package, two animals included, and that's that. Africa doesn't work that way, especially with Marvel Africa. If you buy a base package, you arrive in South Africa, you literally have an open book. You can start hunting from one to ten animals in a five to seven day trip, depending on your ability and your budget. There's going to be no pressure. We're not going to rush you. We're not going to push you. Um, there's not going to be restrictions placed on you. Some animals do have permits, but we'll pre-arrange that if that's your species of interest. But from a pure cost, cost perspective, if you look at booking a cabin up in Alaska or in Canada or somewhere in the States, you need to go to the cabin. Once it's booked, you need to buy your food. You need to buy your drink. You need to make your own food. You need to cater for yourself. When coming down to Africa, this is all included. So let me go into a bit of detail around the, what is included in the daily rates. But this is a very important question a lot of people ask. Why is there daily rates in Africa? What is included in the daily rates? Why is it so expensive? Our daily rates basically include a multitude of services. And this all starts from the day you booked. From the day you booked, we start assisting you through the process. Firstly, we've set up a travel agent, Esplanade Travel. We've got Joel from Esplanade who will assist you through the booking process of your flight tickets. Make sure she selects the right routes for you to travel. Firearm and hunter friendly routes. Not routes where anti-hunting idiots would damage your firearms or try to cause malicious damage to prevent you from enjoying your hunt. She'll make sure your travel arrangements are 
as, as efficient as possible and as economically as possible. We prefer direct flights, Delta, SAL, any of the direct flight operators. I like the idea that it line departs the US and arrives in, this, in South Africa without any uh, connecting flights in the middle. Makes it simpler, less hassles, less paperwork, and it's more controllable environment. From the, the travel arrangements, we have the next, next major hurdle a lot of people face or think they're going to face is the dreaded firearm input process. It is not as complicated. You need a form, stand by your customs department. You need to complete one document, the SAP 520. And for that, Marvel Africa has developed a website, saps520.com, that simplifies the process by electronically completing this form for you. You print it out and you literally just sign it. Um, and that you sign in South Africa, so you don't even need to do the signature before you arrive in country. We also offer a pre-import facility, a pre-issue permit facility, which we do through FASA. What they do is 21 business, business days before your arrival, they do an application for your temporary import permit. So by the time you depart the US, there will already be a permit ready or ready to be issued. With a meet and greet service where they come and they literally meet you at the airport, they know the people, they know the processes, and they go and collect the firearm and guide you through the process a 20 30 minute process at best for the guys who don't want to spend that money we assist you we help you with the paperwork we send you a detailed document on what to complete what you need what needs to be attached and what you need to bring along with you we stand there at the import at the import desk we spend the time with you and we assist you with any complications you might face within the importation process if you do not want to do the pre-import issue process from there we take you to camp once you clear the airport, you literally three and a half hour drive, then you are in camp. So the question is, what's included in your daily rate? First of all, if you hunt a package deal, your daily rate is covered. If not, and you hunt directly from the price list, your daily rate includes your accommodation for the duration of the hunt. It includes all, the, all your meals, breakfasts, lunch, dinners, bottled water, soft drinks, wine, beer, liquor. It includes daily laundry, so you don't need to overpack. You can pack three to four sets of clothes if you want to, like three sets for hunting, maybe one uh, set for when you are in camp. We also have a room cleaning service, so you don't need to make your bed if you don't want to. Um, also included in the daily rate is the services of a professional hunter, a tracker, and a skinner. Um, trans transport to and from your hunting areas, and as well as field preparation of your trophies. Our PHs are fully equipped. They have shooting sticks, binoculars, range finders. They have everything you need for a hunt. So you don't need to pack, to, to bring a day pack with all of that stuff included. You, make, you just bring your rifle and your camera and you are ready to go. To add to what Salumi just said about the field preparation of trophies, We've got a skinning team from a local taxidermy. Our preferred taxidermy will be handling most of your um, dipping and shipping or taxidermy should you choose to do your taxidermy locally. These guys are trained and know the processes needed to get, get the skins prepared and ready for export to the US or to any country abroad. They go through a decent process of making sure that it's tagged, it's recorded, your skins are salted, it gets a chemical, chemical dip to kill any forms of bacteria and then they are stored in the correct way for collection for the taxidermy at a later stage or on the last day of your hunt or just before the last day of your hunt. With us, we firmly believe to make it as simple, easy and as achievable for anybody. Honestly, it's as simple as booking a flight, arriving at the airport and the rest we do for you. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope this was insightful. Have a nice day.